Hi everyone, welcome to my channel English and French Learning. In my today's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of pronominal verbs. In French, we call them les verbes pronominaux. If you were even being confused about reflexive verbs or pronouns in languages like French or Spanish, then this video is perfect for you. By the end of this video, you will understand what pronominal verbs are how they work and how to use them i have divided the topic into two parts of our easier learning in this video we'll focus on what pronominal verbs are and how they and how they conjugate in the second video you will dive into negation and interrogation with pronominal verbs so to stay tuned for that so today we are going to learn what pronominal verbs are and how to conjugate them so let's get started. What are pronominal verbs and how do you identify them? Pronominal verbs are verbs that are used with a reflexive pronoun, meaning the subject performs an action on its own. Pronominal verbs are a type of verb that is accompanied by a verb by a pronoun such as myself, yourself, or ourselves. To identify them, look for verbs that start with S, E, or S. These indicate that the verb is pronominal. Like in English, you might say, I wash myself. In French, it would be, Je me lave. Je me lave. You notice how in both examples, the verb wash or lave is paired with a pronoun, me. That's what makes it a pronominal verb. Now let's see how. Now let's see how we actually use pronominal verbs. In French, the reflexive pronouns are je me, myself, tu te, yourself, il or elle se, himself or herself, nous nous, ourselves, vous vous, yourselves, and ils or elles se, themselves. Ma ta se, nous vous are the reflexive pronouns while je tu, il, elle, nous vous are the Subjects. For example, if you want to say we wake up, you'd say in French, no no revenue. No no revenue. We have probably come across many verbs that begin with S E or S. Here are a few examples of phenomenal verbs. Sir lave to wash oneself. Sir leve to get up. Sir have to shake. Sir amuse. So enjoy. Here we use S apostrophe because the verb amuse starts with a vowel A. Sa promene to talk, walk. Sa reveye to wake up. Sa depeche to hurry. Sa brosse to brush. You can see that all these verbs with the pronoun SE to actions like bathing, getting up, shaving, enjoying. Taking a walk and waking up are done by the subjects on themselves. That's why phenomenal verbs are also known as reflexive verbs. Always remember that when using body parts with, ref with reflexive verbs, you should always use the definite article le la le with the body part, not the possessive adjective mon ton son, etc. For example, je me lave le me, I wash my hands. Not Jama love me me. Let's look at an example to understand this better. Jama love le me. I wash my hand. In this sentence, le me, the hands uses the definite article le instead of the possessive adjective me because it's paired with the reflexive verb salave. So whenever you are talking about body part with the reflexive verbs. You always use the definite article like lay and not a possessive adjective. Here is the second example. Tu te brosse le dos. You brush your teeth. In this case, the body part teeth is used. So we again use the definite article lay. I hope you now understand what pronominal verbs are. Now let's learn how to conjugate them. So the first verb that I have written is salave, which means to wash. Now 
we will learn how to conjugate nominal verbs in the present tense. So let's get started. First, divide your table into two parts, singular and plural, singular and plural. Then write down all your subject, jat, you, il, el, nu, hu, il, zor, el. These are your subject, jat, you, il, el, nu, hu, is, el. Generally, most nominal verbs end with er. As you can see there, they are all have that ending. I am not saying this is always is the case, but typically many of them do. So it's important to be familiar with ER ending verbs. If you are not familiar with ER ending verbs, I will drop a link in the description to box. Watch that video and then come back here. So you will be able to understand the concept better. But let me give you a brief recap on how to conjugate ER verbs. Remove the ER ending from the infinitive verb of, of, of the verb and the, and the appropriate ending based on the subject. J, E, U, E, S, L, L, E, N, O, N, S, V, E, Z, E, Z, E, N, T. E, E, S, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. Usal away to take part. When you are conjugating pronominal verbs, just remove SE for a moment. Just think that it is a normal verb which is love it. Start by writing down all your subjects. You will be conjugating the verb love instead of sir love for the moment. When love is an ER ending verb, the general rule is to remove the ER ending which leaves you with radical LAV. You will then add the appropriate endings for each subject. Je love, tu love, il elle love, nous lavo, vous lave, il is lave. These are the conjugated forms of lave in the present tense. Now we have the conjugation of the verb lave. We need to make some additions since it's pronominal verb. These are the reflexive pronouns highlighted in red that you need to insert between the subject and the verb. Je me Tu, the, il or el, sir, nu, nu, wu, wu, il or el, sir. So the complete, con so the complete conjugation for sir lave would look like this. Je me lave, tu te lave, il el sir lave, nu nu lavo, wu wu lave, il or el se lave. This is how you conjugate the pronominal verb sir lave in the present tense. And the meaning is, jam alav, I wash, tuta alav, you wash, il el se alav, he or she wash, nu nu lavo, we wash, wo wo lave, you wash, and il or el se lave, they wash. The second verb that I have written is, se reveille, which means to wake up. Just like before, divide your table into two parts, singular and plural. Then write down all your subjects, ja, tu, il, el, nu, hu, is, or else. Again, let's treat it as a regular verb, reveille. So you will remove the er ending, leaving you with the radical reveal. You will, you will then write this radical with appropriate er conjugation. Ja, reveil avec i, tu, reveil avec i, yes, el, reveil avec i, nu, reveil, Avec ONS, who reveal avec EZ, and EZ reveal avec ENT. So it's like je reveal, tu reveal, el reveal, nu revelo, who reveille, EZ reveille. Now this is how it looks for the verb se reveille. After adding the reflexive pronouns, this way you have conjugated the pronominal verb se reveille in the present tense. Jama reveal, I wake up. You the reveal, you wake up. El Elsa reveal, he or she wake up. Nu nu reveal, no, he wake up. Wu wu reveal, you wake up. Il the Elsa reveal, they wake up. The third verb that I have written is Saple, which means to call oneself. As before, divide as before, divide your table into two parts: 
single year and plural. Then write down all the subject. Yat U L L No Hu L L Is else. Now let's treat it as a regular verb. Apple. And forget that it's a and forget that it's apple for a moment. Since it's an ER ending verb, the normal rule is to remove the ER which leaves you with a radical apple. Now do you notice that I have written double L? The, in this verb, the L changes into double L in the in all the subjects except for who and no. Where you will see a single L. So if you look at this, your apple, two apple, ave kies, LL apple, ave ki, no apple, ave awareness, who apple, ave ki z, is l apple, ave ki and So it looks like this, your apple, two apple, LL apple, no apple, who apple, is l apple. Since this verb begins with the vowel a, the pronouns mata sa uh, change to m apostrophe, t apostrophe, and s apostrophe to make pronunciation smoother. So the complete conjugation for the apple would be jama apple, tu the apple, il el apple, nu nu apple, vu vu apple, il zel apple. Jama apple, I call myself. Tu the apple, you call yourself. Il es apple. He or she calls. No, no, apelo, we call. Who apple, you call. And either else, sa apple, they call. So that's how you conjugate other phenomenal verbs. I hope this has cleared up your all doubts and helped you gain a better understanding of your topic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for our more language learning tips. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.